Find your vice. I don't have a vice. What are you talking about? Start working on yourself and see what happens. When you start working on the fundamentals, the three fundamentals that I always talk about here to start elevating and becoming the version of you that you would respect and admire, the exercise, the diet, the wake up time, you'll start finding these things that just don't match who you are, your values, who you would admire, who you would respect the you. So when you start working on yourself, just with the simple exercise diet wake up time, which I've talked about it before, I mean, I'll go through it again, exercise twice a day in the morning at night, two workouts a day, keep your vibe high throughout the day if you need them throughout the day because you just feel, especially at the beginning, you feel that you're feeling some type of way, you're feeling some type, some type of a low vibe in any moment throughout the day, boom, bust some push-ups, all right. Diet, track your food, track your macros, get a macro calculator, there's free apps that you can get for your phone. I use chronometer, punch in the information, start tracking your food, start eating how you're supposed to eat. Track your proteins, fats, and carbs to your body. And wake up time, wake up at an uncomfortable time. Not the time that you have to wake up for your responsibilities, but a time that makes you uncomfortable. Well, what about if waking up for my responsibilities is uncomfortable? Well, then that's why you're working on elevating because if that's uncomfortable, you need to adjust. So whatever time you wake up at, because you have to, even if it's already an uncomfortable time, start by pulling back 15 minutes, 15 minutes be before the time you have to wake up, half hour before you have to wake up. So make it more uncomfortable. All right, so those are the three things, right? Once you start doing that, I mean, I'm telling you, like a day or two, you'll start doing things that, you'll start changing things. You'll start noticing things that you do that don't match for who, with who you are, with who you wanna be. Those could be your current vices. The things that you do that give you instant gratification, the things you do that give you instant satisfaction and pleasure. It could be as simple as not doing things that you're supposed to do that you know you should be doing, that your conscience has been telling you do, to do, but you don't do them because you don't feel like it. You want you don't want to feel the discomfort of doing those things. So you avoid them. Avoiding could be your first vice. I do a lot of avoiding. It's a bad habit. It's a vice. It can be seen as many things. But you start uncovering these things once you start working on yourself. So you have to follow that curiosity that's already knocking at your door. If you're watching these videos, if you stumbled upon this channel or other channels like this, then you'll notice that a lot of us just talk about the same thing. Why? Because we've applied it and it's helped us. It's helped us become more than what we were. Some of us are way ahead, have been doing this for a longer period of time. So we've gotten more progress because of more momentum and just time of continuously doing things that are better better habits and some of us have been doing it for about a year so you'll see some changes the good thing about documenting this and talking about it and putting it on here besides to help other other people is to also it's it's almost like a um a resume it's almost like a like let me see your receipts well just go back on my page go back on my instagram go back on my youtube go see what i looked like a year ago i didn't have a jawline i had cheeks i had like a couple of chins maybe two or three chins my face was round my head looked bigger i had a fat head I couldn't wear hats. These these hats, these regular, just kind of regular people hats would not fit. They do now. Lost 45 pounds. Those 45 pounds were kind of spread across the body. Mainly in my stomach. I had a fat belly. But it still was sitting everywhere else. My face, my head. That's the progress that's made. But anyways, kind of back to the whole fundamentals. This, and that was just done with fundamentals. In these fundamentals, though, you start 
elevating because you'll you'll have your vibration will be up which is something that you haven't done so you'll have your vibe high most of the day if not all of the day the whole idea is to have it high all day long with the exercise the diet will create discipline the wake-up time is for gratefulness all of them are for everything but specifically that's kind of what they're I've noticed that that was what I what I learned and it was true as you elevate all these three things and you keep your eye out for what are my vices you like I said you'll notice as you get better as you elevate as you become more of the person that you would admire and respect there's certain actions or certain habits there's certain things that you do there's certain things that you have that you do that won't line up with you anymore because you're not the same and this change happens i'm telling you if you were to start today by the same time tomorrow you'll already feel different guaranteed i did at the end of the day i remember i just i, I started in the middle of the day it was probably close to noon i think this video is even posted on my instagram where I'm doing push-ups in the back of my truck. Might have been like the fourth set, maybe not the first one, or the fourth time I did it. It's because I like, damn, this is working. Let me do it again, and I do more push-ups. In the back of this truck right here, sitting there doing push-ups in the Walmart parking lot, right before I go in. Mm, mm, mm. Like, wow, I do feel different. Do it again later, do it again later. By the fourth, I think by the fourth time, I was like, I should record this. Because I always had like the positive mindset. If you go back, 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 it's like I always had I always had that positive. I mean, I've been kind of a positive person, you know, uh, what is it, um, all my life. Optimistic. But you'll notice that like I, I look different. Why? Because I was missing two things. I was missing two important things, which was discipline, which was the main thing I was missing, the thing I have control of building, which you then when you raise your discipline, your gifted confidence. That was the game changer for me. That came through exercise, diet, and wake up time. So once you start doing this, you'll start realizing like, like dang, okay, I'm that's not about me anymore. I don't people pleasing for me that was the first one of the first things that i was like this is really messing me up why why do i do that why do i do nice things but i don't do them just to be nice i do them because i i, I want that gratification of you saying something nice i want the like oh how cool oh thank you oh that's neat oh that that validation from the other person group of people is what i want I'm looking for the praise. I was like, I don't want to do that no more. That's dumb. Oh, so you're not gonna do nice things for people anymore? You're not, like, of course, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna switch my intention. I'm gonna do them because I want to do them. See, all that came as I elevated. Forty-four years before that, I would do it because I needed that validation. I needed that praise. I needed that love. Because I had no self-love. Self-love, self-esteem, confidence. It's all the same. A relationship with myself. Someone that would hold me accountable. Self. Didn't have none of that. That's gifted from a higher power when you build your discipline. So because I didn't have any discipline and I didn't have any of the other things. So then what? So then I would seek it somewhere else. Through people pleasing. I didn't figure anything, any of this out till I started doing the three basic fundamentals, which was exercise, diet, wake up time. My values changed. I elevated. Consistent little by little growth. This, that's the sustainable one. That's the one I'd like, okay, this is what I like right here. Because I've done the fast growth. I've done the get, get the results quick. The faster, the better. They, they come quick, they, they they leave quick, they go quick, they don't last, they're not sustainable. It's kind of like a crash diet, a quick diet. Yeah, you know, in, in seven to ten days, you lose all the weight, looks like you're a little sick, but you lost the weight. You're ready for that wedding, you're ready for that vacation, you're ready for that quinceanera, you're ready for that picture special moment session, that vacation, whatever. But, you know, in two weeks, it's back with a little more. 
you change your lifestyle, you change your mindset, you change your 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 purpose, your why, the intention to become the version of me that I would admire and respect, and it all changes. Like, okay, I'm not doing it to lose weight. I'm not doing it to gain muscle. I'm not doing it to see my abs. I didn't even know I was gonna get abs. I was that was the farthest thing you would ask me anytime. In the past, would you ever have something like, are you ever gonna have like a, a big super fancy house? Eh, probably, maybe, it's a possibility. Fancy car, fancy watch, fancy all these things. I, maybe, probably, pretty sure, I'm sure I'll figure it out somehow. If you were to ask me, will you ever have abs? I'd be like, no, hell no. Crazy, that's just hard, no way. May, I mean, shoot, I think I might be like, toyed around with the idea of maybe getting surgery why not then i was like nah nah because i'm not gonna keep them I'm probably gonna they disappear so all that you know any discomfort or money that's spent on that would probably be worthless so eh, probably not it was a no i'm not gonna have abs what's the first thing i like like well because i've lost weight before so when the weight started melting off it was like oh okay cool i've been here before whatever but then it's like hey it, stay it, it, it's staying off I'm not even trying to lose weight and I'm still kind of dropping. And all of a sudden I kind of like, what the? Which is the picture that's pinned on my Instagram where it's like a before and after I was at a year. I was like, okay, it's a year, time to take the picture, see what I've accomplished. And I go look at the picture and I'm like, oh my goodness, there's abs there. That's the first time I ever saw my abs. Light, there's loose skin, there's still loose skin. There's still a lot of work to do, don't trip. It's not chiseled, it's not a washboard yet. But if I got it this far, it's just a matter of time. At this point, everything's just gonna start coming. And this is the part that really like floored me where I was like, wait a minute, that's the thing that I was never supposedly gonna get. And it's the first thing I got. So everything else that I was kind of like, man, it's a possibility. Oh, that's just a matter of time. If I got the one that I wasn't, I had zero faith that I was gonna get, I was like, here, how's that? It's like, whoa changing my habits, removing, starting to adjust the things that don't vibe with me no more, that are not about me no more. Could be seen as bad habits, could be seen as vices, could be seen like, cause what, whatever, I've also kind of found out in my journey that whatever was cool yesterday could start not being cool with me today. People pleasing was cool with me for decades, all my life. Then all of a sudden it's like, what the fuck are you doing, dude? do that anymore stop we'll never do it again just like that then you start looking at like like other things you know along the way and then sometimes you just kind of open your eyes and, and 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 because you're working on yourself because you're elevating because you're becoming a higher a, a higher level of a version of you not by luck, not just because you think that way. You can't you can't think your way into that. You gotta act your way, you gotta take action. By what? By the exercise diet wake up time. You'll start be, you'll start being it little by little, you'll start elevating and becoming the higher version of yourself, which is what you want. That's the whole point of this. You start doing that. You start seeing things different. You start seeing things in such a way that uh, you'll start removing things. Like, I don't want to be about that no more. That's not about me no more. I don't mess with that no more. It's just, it's just not about, like, like, God, you know, like, because why? Like I said, you elevate. Even your clothes, like, for me, it's like, without wanting to is like you have to get smaller t-shirts you look you're starting to look silly in the xls so the xls weren't about me anymore so then i went large then i went medium it's like a small really crazy it fits wow i remember my daughter got me and her boyfriend got me a, a, a spongebob t-shirt i'm a huge spongebob fan um it was a medium I hadn't started my journey of of like truly, truly like when I when I when I got the missing puzzle pieces of discipline and confidence. 
I put it on, I was like, dang, this is tight. But I'm on, I almost wore it because of my sense of humor and trying to make people laugh, people pleasing. Then, I still love to make people have, I still laugh, I still have a sense of humor, but now it's just because of me, because I enjoy it. If anybody else enjoy it, is it, I don't care. If nobody else laughs, I don't care. If they do laugh, I don't care. And I don't mean that in a mean way. I mean it because it truly doesn't matter. What matters to me is like, did I enjoy the moment? Perfect, because it's my moment. I'll only have a handful of moments before this whole game is over. So you have to enjoy it for you. And if anybody wants to come along for the ride of that moment, beast. If they don't, that's cool too. It's not a loss. It's not a bad thing. It's not a, I can't believe it. It's just, it's just cool. It is. Just the same with the other one. So I put on the shirt and I, was, I would wear it almost just to be funny. I was like, hella tight. You can see my boobs. You can see my big round stomach. Now I wear it as like my regular t-shirt. It's a sleeping shirt, but yeah, I wear it. Matter of fact, you know, wish it shrink a little bit. That happened because why? Because I elevated. I started becoming a higher version of me. And it was just a conclusion that I was going to change. So big shirts were a vice? No, that's what I'm saying. It's just not a vice. My habits, my, uh, I was accustomed to buying extra large t-shirts. Large t-shirts. It was in between those, depending on the manufacturer. We'll say large. Large t-shirts. I'm a short guy. 5'6". And it just changed into that just automatically food choices you know just habits you know I started tracking my macros I was scanning all my foods okay today we're having this let's input it let me input it oh today we're having this let me input it oh like every day I was scanning my food which was cool but then I said, you know what? I'm not about like scanning all that food. I, I'm pretty busy. I'm pretty tied up. I love the chicken my wife made. I, could you just let me try this? An adjustment. I, could you just make sure that there's chicken breast? And she makes it in the crock pot. It's delicious. Or on a pan, but mostly crock pot. Can you just make sure that there's chicken and jasmine white rice and a bunch of greens in the refrigerator? Like, all week long, it's like, yeah, cool, that's easy, cool. That's what I'm about right now. I eat chicken and rice every day, and protein shake, and greens, bunch of greens. Sunday through Monday, I have pizza on Saturday with protein. That's what I became. That's so, what, what, what oh, so your vice was eating multiple things? Well, first of all, like, I used to just not, I'd eat whatever. But again, it's not, it's a distinction or an adjustment or just the way you describe it, the way you look at it, perception, vice or habits. Some things maybe it was a vice. The, the people pleasing was a vice. The habits, even though they were good, tracking all my food, it just changed to, let me eat the same thing. Is that the way you're supposed to do it? No, but that just kind of worked for me. Like, let me eat the same thing. I know how many grams of chicken I know how to have. I know how many cups of rice I need to have to hit my macros, to at the end of the day feel good because I hit my numbers. At the end of the week, I did what I needed to do, and then this machine will do what it needs to do, function well, and start looking the way it's supposed to look. All this happens because I started doing the main three principles, which is exercise, diet, wake-up time. And automatically, you start looking for the things that are you're not about anymore, the things that don't resonate with you no more, the things that don't are not sitting at the current level of development that you are, your current vibration, your current state. All these things were cool down here, vices and habits, whatever, they're kind of the same. Again, perception. And I'm talking mainly about like the hidden ones because some vices are like like people pleasing. That could like not be a vice if you don't have the intention to receive. If the people pleasing is just doing a bunch of nice things for others, then it, no, it's not a vice. But if you're doing it to get something back and it's messing with you like it messed with me for many years, decades, then it is a vice. So see, some of these are these hidden vices, even like exercising. Exercising could be a vice if it's keeping you from doing what you're supposed to do. If it's giving you instant gratification and keeping you from doing the things you know you should be doing because your conscience is telling you to do them, but you're like 
on purposely avoiding them because you don't want to do them and you go do that thing, that's a vice. When you're feeling some type of way, oh, I don't feel good, and you go run to that thing, could be exercising, but I thought exercising was a good thing. You just said it, exercise, diet, wake up time. Yeah, but when you have the intention, the intent behind it, what's the intention? The intention is to elevate my frequency, to to make sure this body's functioning, to be grateful, to function my body, to, to give my body what it needs, which is exercise. That's your intention, okay, cool. But if your intention, hidden or not, is to avoid doing what you know you should be doing because your conscience is telling you to do it and it's the right thing to do, but you don't do it and you specifically go do that thing to keep you from doing what you're supposed to do, that's a problem, that's a vice. Then you got habits. The habit of resting a lot instead of exercising. The habit of exercising every day, but you don't. I don't have that habit, I don't exercise. Good habits, bad habits, vices. You kind of got to see where, how bad is it? Is it a vice or is it just a bad habit? No, that's a vice. I really do it to make me feel good, to give me that instant gratification. And then I do it when I need to avoid that, that thing I know I should be doing, but I don't do. Okay, cool. You identified it. Cut it. You know, it's just a bad habit. You know, I don't. I do that all the time. Every time I got to do this, I do this. It's it's a nasty habit and I don't like it and, and, and cut it. How do I find these? How do I find these things that I shouldn't do? I mean, it's just, I've been living my life so long like this. Start working on the fundamentals. It'll change your life. It'll change the direction of your life. By tomorrow, if you're watching this video right now and you start right now, by tomorrow at this time, you'll already feel different. And that should be enough to like, oh, he was right. It, it does change. It's not one of those, well, I'm going to do this and... We'll see what happens. I lived in that camp for a long time. Are you working? Are you working on something? Yeah, I'm working on this. Oh, let's see what happens. I'm on this program. Let's see what happens. It was the let's see what happens. If you start working on these basic fundamentals, the exercise, diet, wake up time, I tell you that within a day, you'll notice a difference. By the end of the week, you're like, whoa, I'm in a new place. Three weeks and a month, you'll be like, this is definitely working. I wonder what's going to happen in three months. In three months, you're like, oh, shit, okay. Okay, there. this is... I'm going to start doing this a little harder because this is working. Your life will start changing. You'll elevate. You'll become a higher level of you. You'll respect yourself a little bit more. That's confidence. That's the relationship with yourself. Did you see what, what I said there? You'll, you'll, you'll respect yourself a little bit. You have self-respect. Like, why do you respect yourself? Because you came through. That's a relationship with yourself. That's a friendship with yourself. That's given to you by a higher power. Why? Because you worked on building the discipline. Discipline, yeah. Doing the diet, doing the exercise, doing the early wake up time takes discipline. But why didn't I have it before? Because at this point of your life, maybe the voice of your conscience has gotten so loud or you let off the like, okay, I'm gonna listen to you a little bit. Could be maturity, could be just be time, could be that your hero's journey is over and it's time for you to start going to that next level where you start healing yourself so you could start helping others heal. Just say thank you. Just be thankful that you do want better. It's that time to get better. And hopefully this helps you like, like do this and you'll realize that it's not about like, well, let's see how long it takes. Like, no, start working on these three basic things and you'll start seeing change by tomorrow. In 24 hours from you starting, start exercising. As soon as this video is over, which I'm about to finish it up right here, go do some push-ups, and then do them again tonight before you go to sleep. And tomorrow morning, do them in the morning then do them at night. Then throughout the day, search for a basic home workout, no gym. Do that. Start tracking your food right away. Go download an app. Free macro calculator. I use chronometer. Input your information, start scanning your food. It's a learning curve. Maybe go watch a tutorial on YouTube. But it is a learning curve, and that's the journey. That's the process. Enjoy that. Trust that. Once you get it going, you'll be like, oh, I see how this works. Oh, dang, I've been eating way wrong. I know, huh? And then tomorrow, wake up early. Wake up 10, 15, 20 minutes earlier than the time that you have to. Make it uncomfortable. It's already uncomfortable. Make it more uncomfortable. You have to wake up at this time. You choose to wake up at this time. 15 minutes earlier, half hour earlier. It'll give you time to do your push-ups. Watch one of these videos. Watch one of my shorts. Watch one of these videos. If reading your, is your thing, 
read, read something inspirational, read something from a, a self-development book, or you, like I said, come watch some more of these videos. Then again at night, exercise. By tomorrow, you'll feel different. What to look for? You'll be more tired, you'll be more sleepy, and you'll be more hungry. But it'll be different because you're doing it for the intention not to be sleepier, not to be tired, more tired, and not to be hungrier. You're doing it to become a higher version of you that you will respect and you will admire.